damage on mine. It would be cool too, but kind of do. Cuddles is going to be so powerful once I get that to level 20. Alright. We had one more to do. Hello. Time to go visit Mr. Nico. That. Except. Ta da. Ash. Start a fence, anyways, now for. Okay. So. Maps. Okay, we already had that one and that one. That. And another uni. Alrighty. So let's go do some delving. Welcome, Exile. Let's go buy see you later. Go. I'll see you at the camp. Boom! Ugh! <gasps> okay, so we have 106 Azurite. Let's upgrade that. So I have max all that. Oh. That being said, I think we were delving down to this. Yes. That's monster level 15. Yeah. So once we get that Azure Eye, I'm going to come over here and we're going to go down. So So they made it possible since you can't get Azurite so easily to delve deeper and farther right at the beginning. Some of your upgrades are cheaper and all that stuff. You really need to make it easier to get resources to go delving. You're going to have some from multiple leagues. Because yeah, the whole league was devoted just to this. Don't know what the hell that is, but I would just pick them up. Oh my god, they really did up the Azure I dropped big time. That was a lot. Anything else special? No. Okay. So that's level depth 37. This will come over here. We'll go down from here. Hey, Sopta! How goes it, man? You ever told me how your business trip went, by the way? And, more importantly, how was the bar afterwards? Mike's working, yep. A little loud today, I think, on the mic. It was good, awesome. So no so no far fetched story that I could sell to some tabloid and make a billion dollars on or anything like that? 
An epic tale to write my memoirs. I'm glad everything turned out good then. As you can see, our build has gotten more robust. We got some new gear for it. Been tearing everything up. Uh, I died just once today that I can remember. It wasn't like it was yesterday where every time I stepped across a certain threshold, I was just getting my ass pounded. Picked up a whole bunch of new gear. As you ride, right. that, that, that. Mirage Archer support. And a flask. No. How about a coral? Yeah, maybe. All low level crap at this point. So. Head down here. You have vacation. Nice. How many days you got off? You got a week or two? Yeah, the build is really nice now. Uh, uh, I got two exalts today, too, so far. Turn one of them into a hundred chaos, so now I could start getting some of the. There's like three top tier pieces. Uh, my weapon that I want to get that either has poison and multi strike on it, or poison and ancestral call. So that's something I'm trying to work on. Holy crap, dude. Oh, you got a, some good vacation time. See, they don't do that uh, here in America. They're like two weeks during the Christmas season. Oh, hell no. You'll be lucky to get one day, and that's because you called in sick. What the hell? Your fourth one? Damn! Congrats, dude. I'm glad you could do that. Yeah, I've, I've read about in other countries where they literally require you to take several months out of the year off in total. And that the productivity out of the workers is significantly more than it is here in the States because workers always feel overworked. They feel like they can't take time off because your boss is like, oh, you're taking time off? Okay, hopefully there's a spot for you when you come back. That kind of crap. I heard that, sh that shit all the time. Yeah, I I'm just going to be mean about it. I, I remember having bosses tell you every day, aren't you just glad you have a job? I mean, there are so many unemployed people out there. Then they got in trouble for that by HR, so then it turned into, oh... I'm just happy I have a job too, aren't you? I'm just like, really? <laughs> oh, first vaca oh, first vacation of the year. Oops. I really flubbed that one. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry to hear that, man. Well, hopefully it's your first vacation because they they value you that much and appreciate it and you didn't mind it. I, I The company I worked at for the last few years, I mean, during the holiday season, don't even think about taking time off. And you had to alternate who took the Christmas and Thanksgiving. Then, the, then it, that was only kinda worked because they wanted certain employees only be 
working at certain times because other employees were less enthusiastic about their work. Minimum 20 days a year. Your employer gets 20. Do you get sick time? Yeah, like uh, the company I worked at, well, <clears throat> your days off were tied into your sick time. So if you had sick days because you were sick and you had a doctor's note, it still went away from, it still subtracted from your vacation time. So sometimes it really wasn't a good idea to actually, you know, it was better just to come to work sick or if you had a bad year and you had like hospital days, you just had no vacation time. It was just all, you, know, you were sick the entire time. So you had to uh, Welcome, call in and tell your boss, sorry, I'm out, I got a doctor's note. They're like, all right, don't worry, you take care. Just remember now you have no uh, vacation time. So if you want to take any vacation, you'll have to do it without pay. And in some places I know you get sick time on the company even here in the United States you get like a friend of mine he's got what is it like 30 days off and 15 days to six days so he's got a total of 45 days off in a year he could take two days okay that's cool it always really depends on you know your company some companies are better than others about saying, hey, we realize life sucks. Good to go. It's all how much they pay you to, really. If they find that you're valuable and you're making hundreds of thousands a year, you know, they're like, we always want you at your best. But if they don't think you're valuable just because you process payments or do data entry, they can care less whether or not you're dying because they'll just replace you. That's always fun. But it's fragments. The fragments are. Maps? Hell no. Currency? What are these? I. Yeah, six days extra. So let's go to the shop. Stash tabs. So premium maps, premium currency, upgrade to a bundle, extra, got the millennial premium divination stash, got that. Fragments, already got. Okay, so I got all the stashes. So I guess we'll just call this for these resonators, or we'll call them alks. Got like bunches of tabs, so drop them in there. Doop, doop. Oh, so you're gonna do some PoE now too? Cool. You want to? Uh, if you see any of the stuff that I got, and if you're in the, uh, not sure if you're doing the solo self found or solo hard car. I'm in this standard trade league for betrayal so if you see anything that I got tell me and uh, I can drop you some currency some gear I got a guild and everything so I got enough point uh, currency that we could oh crap I'm gonna die Woo! <laughs>
just betrayal softcore. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, shoot me a tell if you want to, if you don't got a guild or anything that you already joined when you play. Drop some loot in there. Got all sorts of stuff. I think that's what I'll do when I get out of here. We'll drop a... A Rowaness? I feel bad for doing this. I got family too. Ah, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this build until I started playing it more, but it's pretty damn nice. If I was an experienced player, it'd probably be really nice. A murmuring lockbox. The only thing around here. Yeah, my name's just Tilnika in game. Got lots of uniques. Not sure if any of them are good or bad. Certain builds. Got lots of freaking skills. I could just drop those on you too. If you haven't unlocked them already. I'm starting a new game called Adam tomorrow. It's out on Steam. It's a Fallout. 1 and 2 and Wasteland 2 kind of style game. So I've been watching it for a long time now. Finally just came up on my list as out of beta. Because I don't like playing early preview games. It's something that I might really enjoy. So I want to go into it like totally blind. It's already got like 171 positive reviews. Or on uh, Steam. Uh, Till Nika here. Uh, as soon as I get to this thing, uh, T I L. Here, I bring it up. There you go. You get to fight, and it'll be right there. So yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Alright, now I'm new to this, so if we go to our s character social, then we can, I don't even know what most of these people are to be honest. I got on my friends list because I went and checked my history and I played this back in 2014, the last time I played this. So, invite you to the guild, then I can come over, let's, okay, let me clear this, then I'll go and buy more stash tabs for the guild. Damn, that got like really bright, did that screw up my Kuma? Oh, you're a GM in your own guild. Okay, my bad. Never mind. You do it. Well, if you need any gear or anything, like if you see anything while you're watching the stream, drop and you're like, hey man, that'd be nice to have. Just yell at me. Or when I'm in somewhere. Be more than willing to help, uh, give a helping hand. Send it all your way. somebody where are we at fifth level 58 monsters 10 more levels to go oh 
Okay, cool. Will do, man. One of our moderators, Ice Bear, and a friend of mine, she uh, really helped me out with, uh, hooked me up. Stash tabs and all sorts of other cool stuff. It was really nice. Got a new outfit, so I look sexier. Tried sexier. I was already sexy to begin with. Definitely wrong one. So much more Azure right now. And I need portal scrolls and wisdom scrolls, so I'm just gonna pick them all up while I'm right here here. Best spot to get these delves. Here, hot old life man. Alright, so where are we heading next? <clears throat> Tains currency, so let's Head down this way. Oh, I love the changes they made to Delve. Spend some time down here. So what kind of build you doing, Sopta? Guys, ass kicking. Almost want to see if I can put faster attacks on this build. You know the one doing the real damage is Cuddles, the Herald of Agony. But. Good lord. Thing, what's funny is I turned up my uh, loot filter, filter out a whole bunch of this stuff. Cold damage occultist. Nice. I really enjoyed this Herald of Agony curse build. Answer. So is it a build that you came up by yourself or did you follow a guide? Because since I had no damn clues, and really, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not good at that kind of stuff. I have to follow a guide or I just throw stuff wherever. And as complex as the tree is nowadays, it's probably not a good idea for me to be able to enjoy. Ziggy D build? Oh, okay. Cool. 
I've heard that name a couple times. Maybe it was Isa Bear who told me. I have craptastic memory. So I'm gonna go up and get the currency because I like currency. And I got two exalt today already, so why not get like 20 more, right? You know, I don't want to be greedy, so let's get like 50 more. I think 50 to 60 exalt. In the next, you know, 20 minutes is a good, a good average. I could share it with my friends and family. That's what you call a freaking Azure Knight load. Woo! All over. That was a big one. We get one like we did that first one we came across. It was like three of them. And if you need some chaos too, I got like a hundred and probably twenty now, I think, today. Go buy yourself something shiny and new. I think I'm good on those now, so I want to keep going deeper and deeper. So I'm going here. Because where are we at right now? We're at monster level. We're only at Delve 39. So. Level 59 mobs. At a minimum of 8 levels to go. I mean, whoever came up with this delve idea over there at Grinding Gear Games, absolutely freaking beautiful. <laughs> 